Now we can look at acid strength. Not all acids are created equally. You have some that are strong acids, which means when you put it in water, it dissociates completely. It completely splits up into ions. Um, and then you have weak acids that only partially dissociate. So if you had like 100 of those weak acid molecules, maybe one or two of them actually dissociate into ions. You only make a little bit of hydronium, a little bit of your conjugate base, but most of it stays in its molecular form. And even weak acids, there's a, there's a range of how weak they are. And so this table shows you kind of an order, and this is not um, a complete list of all the acids. This is just some common acids. And you don't have to memorize this table. I will give you this, um, and later on in the chapter, we'll have to learn what are the strong acids, and if it's not strong, it's going to be weak. But I will give you this, you will have this table, um, this, this little chart. So up here you have the really strong acids. That means when you put HCl in water, it dissociates completely into hydronium and the chloride ion, um, or, or nitric acids dissociate completely into H plus and NO3 minus. They split up into ions. This is uh, a good time to review your polyatomic ions if you forgot what those look like. Um, so like HNO3 here, we have our nitrate ion, and then it has a hydrogen out in front, that sort of thing. So you might recognize some of these polyatomic ions that you had to memorize in Chem 1. So these are your strong acids, these are your weak acids, but then again, even the weak acids, there's there's a range of how, how strong they are. So these are your stronger weak acids, and these are your weaker weak acids. On the other side, we have the bases, and so these are your strong bases, and these are your weak bases. So the stronger the acid, the weaker its conjugate base. That's generally true. Um, and so what we're going to use this table for is we're going to try to figure out if we had an acid-base reaction, in which direction does the equilibrium lie? That means, does it, that means does, as the reaction is written, is it going from left to right or right to left? Well, it depends on where the stronger acid and base pair, pairs are. So you need to use this table to kind of compare how strong your acids are to each other, the one on the left, the one on the right, and then figure out which way the reaction is going. So it's a little bit easier when we start working on some of these. So it always goes from strong to weak. The reaction is always going to go from the stronger acid to the weaker acid. The strong thing wants to dissociate completely into ions. So let's look at a couple examples here. Uh, let's look at HCl. So I have HCl, which is a strong acid, in water. And let's write that acid ionization reaction. So this is the acid. The um, acid's going to donate its proton. You're going to end up with some hydronium over here and a Cl minus. And so this is our acid. That means this guy is the conjugate base. This is the base. So this is our conjugate acid. Okay, so remember how we find our conjugate acid base pairs? You're going to have an acid and a base on both sides. The pairs are really here, one on each side. This um, H3O plus has an extra hydrogen, so that's the acid this guy is the base. And so what we're going to do now is we want to compare this acid, let me switch colors here, this acid to this acid in the table. So you're going to compare acids to acids in the table and try to figure out which one's stronger. So is HCl stronger than hydronium or is hydronium stronger than HCl? So you go over here and you see HCl is on the top of the list. So this is the stronger acid. Hydronium is right here, so it's a little bit weaker. And so this is the stronger acid. This is the weaker acid. So the reaction, the equilibrium is going to lie in that direction from, from left to right. I usually just draw an arrow. So we say the equilibrium lies to the right, which means when this reaches equilibrium, you're going to have more products over here than, than, than you started with. It's going in that direction. That's how it's reacting. Let's try another one. If we did H, um, acetic acid, we'll look at acetic acid in water. And we've already seen this acid ionization reaction. This hydrogen is going to go over here. You have H3O plus and the acetate ion. Okay. So if this is the acid and this is the base, and again, I knew that was the acid because it's a carboxylic acid, that hydrogen, you see that COOH group, that's the hydrogen that comes off. This guy has to be the base, which means hydronium is the conjugate acid again, and this is our conjugate base. So in the table, I want to compare the acids. I'm going to compare how, how strong is this acid, whoops, how strong is this acid to this acid. So I'm comparing acetic acid and hydronium. So I scroll up here and I find hydronium is there and acetic acid is there. So hydronium is stronger this time. So this is my stronger acid. This is my weaker acid. So the reaction is going to go in that direction. It goes to the left this time. So you can pause the video and try the next one over here. 
Um, and sometimes they give you the product, sometimes they don't. So you may have to write an acid ionization reaction and then figure out who's the acid in the base. If you're just given something like this where it's already done for you, then you see water and you, you see hydroxide. So you know hydroxide is the base and water is the acid because water has the extra hydrogen. And over here, this guy is the acid and this guy is the base because he has an extra hydrogen. And so now what you're going to do is compare the acids in the table. You could also compare the bases. Uh, it also works for bases. It's going to go from the stronger acid and base to the weaker acid and base. Let's see. Those are the acids we're going to compare. So H2PO4 minus. Well, there's H2PO4 minus. Here we go. And we're comparing that to what? To water? Okay. And water is all the way down here. So H2PO4 minus is the stronger acid. It's still a weak acid, but it's stronger than water. So this is the stronger one, and that's the weaker one. And so we say the reaction goes to the left, not that one. And then down here, you have NH4 plus and NH3. So this is the acid because it has an extra hydrogen, and this one is the base, which means this is the base and this is the acid. So you're going to compare these acids in the table, water and NH4 plus. So you go up here and see water is a fairly weak acid. NH4 plus is right here. So NH4 plus is the stronger acid. So this is the stronger one. This is the weaker one. So the reaction is going to go from strong to weak. So this time it lies to the right.